Um, hello, this is Freeman Sullivan, and I'm down here at the beautiful Justin Herman Plaza, aka Bradley Manning Plaza, which is what we really should call it, because Justin Herman was a real dipwad who tried to pave over San Francisco. Anyway, uh, uh, we're here. Uh, glad you could join us. We're going to be here for the next hour or two, talking about Pussy Riot and a Pussy Riot protest. Uh, that went around all the world today. Uh, I had to, sorry to my viewers that were watching previously up at the Russian consulate, but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, that the cell phone signals are getting jammed out in front of the building, which is why I wasn't able to continue with the stream. But I'm down here at Justin Herman Plaza, and I didn't have to walk down that huge hill, and I got a ride, and I was able to take a little break, and I feel much better, and I'm happy and ready to bring you the latest about what's going on. So stick with me for a while and I'll make sure you get the full picture. Uh, if you'd like to uh, talk to me uh, and have some two-way communication going, you can log on to the, the social stream at the URL. It's U-S-T-R-E dot A-M slash capital N, little H, little U, capital D. Make sure you uh, capitalize properly. And that is my stream. Um, you can also uh, reach me at ustream.tv slash channels slash Freeman Sullivan. Uh, if you'd like to tweet me, I'm at Freeman Sullivan. So thanks a lot for, uh, for viewing. Tell your friends about us. Uh-oh, Facebook. Facebook looks like they're down for a little while, so I'll just have to be content with sending out tweets. There's looks like a good crowd here already. There's at least 75 to 100 people, and everybody's waiting uh, for the beginning of the protest. I would imagine that a lot of people uh, from the Russian consulate are down here. Now, like I said before, I'm really sorry when technical difficulties happen. There's really not much I can do about it. It wasn't a hardware issue on my part. It wasn't a software issue. Uh, the issue was the fact that it was uh, we were getting jammed by the uh, Russian consulate cell phone wise. So sometimes I guess we should expect that. And if you want to talk or chat to me, log on to the social stream, either underneath or to the direct right, directly right of the the video that you're watching and be logged on with your Facebook, Twitter, or Ustream account, and I'll be happy to talk with you. I'll be here until the end of the protest, bringing you the latest in anti-authoritarian and anarchist events in San Francisco and the Bay Area. Uh, I hope you enjoyed last night's uh, live stream, where I was at the protest for Bradley Manning, in support of him, he was facing, right now he's facing 150 years in a military prison. Uh, he's held in solitary confinement. Uh, for a while there, they kept him completely naked the whole time that he was there, trying to psychologically break him. Fortunately, psychologically, he's still healthy, and his trial will start next week. And seven people were arrested at the Obama headquarters, at campaign headquarters, at... Uh, on Broadway, just a few blocks up, 17th Street, and uh, to make a statement to the Obama campaign that he should be uh, stop spreading lies about uh, WikiLeaks uh, whistleblower Bradley Manning. Uh, today, in uh, Russian court in Moscow, uh, three women that were part of the band Pussy Riot were found guilty of hooliganism, and there was one other crime for making a public performance in a Russian church to demonstrate against the uh, the bribes and the the back the backroom dealing between the Russian Orthodox Church and Vladimir Putin in exchange for their votes. So that's the lowdown of what we got here. They were sentenced to two years. Uh, Russian prisons Russian prisons are a lot more difficult than most of ours unless you unless you're going to Supermax. Uh, in Atlanta, or you're going to be uh, housed 
uh, military prison at Fort Leavenworth. Those are pretty especially difficult prisons to deal with, too. Uh, but prison's no joke anywhere, and we do not like to see prison people in prisons here, and we don't believe that uh, artists belong in prisons for making political statements. Uh, that's definitely uh, against uh, my philosophy as a live streamer. So take it for what it's worth. I'll move a little closer in a second. So we can hear. Stolen, so I can read. I have to go all the way around, of course. Glad somebody's watching. Let your friends know. I'm very regular at this. I try to cover at least two events per week. So keep up with my schedule. Overturn the court ruling 
and release the members of Pussy Riot! Yeah. Free Pussy Riot now! Free Pussy Riot now! Immediately and unconditionally, in targeting these three women, the Russian <laughs> government issues a clear warning to anyone who dares to criticize the regime. And we cannot allow that! We cannot stand by! We must! Raise our voices against this. <laughs> Woo! So. Yeah. 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 to open up this space to folks who are outraged, to folks who are pissed off, to folks that want to see Pussy Riot free. Who wants to come up and take the mic? I don't want to be politically correct! I don't need no Caucasian guilt! I never took no Jews! I never took no Indians land! I never made no black lives land! I never dug no Latino grave! Never made no Chinese build me a railroad! I never put no job in a camp. I don't care if faggots call me a cunt. I don't care if they take me out to lunch. I don't mind high heels on a dike. Just don't knock me out of my fight. Woo! Need no Caucasian guilt. Need no Caucasian guilt. Need no Caucasian guilt. Need no Caucasian guilt. No mercy was a punk rock band in 1977. We were Pussy Riot, and we have been waiting for girls like Pussy Riot. And I am so happy that girls like Pussy Riot were not skanks, were not corporate girls. They're beautiful women who are being so brave. Thank you, Pussy Riot! Anybody next? Did you want to ask me? Oh, no, no, I'm just streaming. Who else wants Thank to lend their voice to these three brave young women? These three mothers? I think it's wrong. So, I said I'm in total agreement with <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah, all right. There we go. Right, go for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is just about food. This is about us. The 99%. I'm standing with Pussy Riot against Putin because, just like I stood for Arab Spring, just like I stood in front of the Berkeley City Council and asked them to pass the resolution declaring Bradley Manning an American hero. Obama signed the NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act, that allows the military to detain anybody indefinitely without being charged or tried. Wasn't that the cornerstone of what American democracy was? I'm standing for Pussy Riot and the citizens of Russia because I'm gonna need them to stand with us. Yeah. Yeah. Free Pussy Riot now! Free yeah. Pussy Riot now! Thank you. Thank you. Who else wants to lend their voice to Pussy Riot? A lot of people out here. Pussy Riot is the new generation of feminists. <laughs> These women went and did risky things by speaking the truth that many in Russia would like to say out loud. But because of the oppression perpetrated by the Putin regime and the hell that the people live under, the oppression the censorship, the hatred, the fear that they live in, in Russia. Only these three brave feminists stood up and risked, risked arrest and censure to speak the truth and, and let the world know that there are courageous Russians. 
Russian women willing to sacrifice themselves so that the world can pay attention? The ultimate answer is pay attention. It's important for every one of us to contact Amnesty International despite their lame response in the city of San Francisco so that they can pass along letters to Putin demanding that the Canadian government, the British government, and the, the Americans don't spend or send money to Russia until Pussy Riot has been released and free speech can reign in Russia. Speakers are coming up uh, to speak on behalf right, of Pussy Riot. All right, who else wants to lend their voice to Pussy Riot? Um, how about, can the awesome people in the... If you just joined us, we're here at Justin Herman Plaza in San Francisco, and we're at a rally to support Pussy Riot, free Pussy Riot. Awesome people from the Russian country. What I want to know is, why the fuck are we here? Pussy Riot! To support Pussy Riot. Free Pussy Riot! Speech. Shit is bullshit. Fucked up. Word. What are we going to do about it? Stop spending or spending money to Russia. We can do that. We need to continue this momentum. We need to continue putting pressure on the Russian government. We need to put pressure on our own government. We need to make sure that the issue of Pussy Riot does not disappear into the dusty tones of the media. We must keep this at the forefront. Who else wants to lend a voice to Pussy Riot? Well, it's my understanding that when Amnesty International has 70,000 uh, signatures in uh, when a petition supporting Pussy Riot, the Russian officials dumped it out in the street. Hello. Today. All right. <laughs> hey guys, um, my name is Jessica Kuala. I uh, made the Facebook invite, but that was about the extent of my organizing. So I'm so happy that so many people showed up. Woo! 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 And this is really kick ass. Um, I myself grew up, you know, as a member of the punk movement and really influenced by the Riot Girl movement. And so to me, these girls are members of my community. And so this really hit me, you know. And, um, I'm just so touched that so many people around the world are taking notice to this, and um, yeah, so free Pussy Riot, and uh, thank you guys all for showing up. Woo -hoo! Hey, thank, you. thank you, Koala. Is there anyone else that wants to lend their voice to Pussy Riot? There's so many times when we just watch spectacle. There's so many times in history when we just stand on the sidelines. Now is a perfect time to stand up. Now is a perfect time to take action. Now is a perfect time to lend your voice, your liberty, your freedom to these three women. Who else has the ovaries to come up here? <laughs> Hail Mary, redeem us from Putin. Say it with me. Hail Mary, redeem us from Putin. One more time. Hail Mary, redeem us from Putin. Now we are all hooligans, as if we were before. Today we stand because we are asking for pussy riot to be freed immediately. It is unconscionable that these women should be put in prison for having the ovaries to say the things that they believe. Free! Hail Mary! Redeem us from Putin! Hail Mary! Redeem us from Putin! Who else has ovaries to stand up here for Pussy Riot? Fuck conservatives! And everybody is now talking that Russia, like Russia, is being this uh, that this monster, you know. And everybody is uh, saying that Putin is a dictator. Yes, he's a dictator and he's bad, but 
I mean, in America, there's also things like that that breed things like. It's all because of conservatism. So, fuck conservatism. Yeah. Who else has the ovaries to come up here to lend their voice? They're able to speak out there, huh? I'm the social justice examiner. Okay, fantastic. Does anyone else have the ovaries to stand up for Pussy Riot? Yay! Yeah, no, I don't know what I think about it, saying it that way. But, I mean, I do really want to re-emphasize what the last speaker said, that this should be a shout-out to us here in this country to stand up to our own repressive government and to our own, and to our own collaborating church and to the people who are trying to deprive us of control over our bodies and us of our civil and human rights, you know, who are trying to put women back into the 50s and force people to have babies when they can't afford to or don't want to. You know, so, I mean, what's great in the last few weeks is that, like, I've heard on Fox News, they're saying the word pussy and riot. You know, and apparently they're really all full of feminists who hate the church, as long as they're in Russia. But, you know, the reality is that they might think that they can get away with being hypocrites, but it's up to us to make sure that they can't. And, you know, so I think that we need to take our pussy riots challenge and not just call for them to be free, but to call for all of us to be free. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Uh, we, we're proposing a little pussy riot sing-along. We brought the lyrics, so yeah. anyone? Uh, we thought we'd start with the song that actually put them in prison, so crowd around that one piece of paper. <laughs> and I thought just to warm up, I would do a little annoying feedback on the mic, just as a sort of warm up. <laughs> okay, that was just a little disruption. It was just a tiny, tiny bit of punk rock. Five more singers, to, more eight singers to come on up to do it. This is like feminist anarcho punk rock, so just come on up and get the lyrics. Crowd in. Come on up. Come on. 
Which one are we doing? Are we doing Putin got scared? Death yes. to yes. death to prison, <laughs> freedom to protest. All right, perfect. Okay, you hold the lyrics. Crowd is afraid of pussy. Right. Okay. One. One, two, three, four. The yes. joyful yes. signs of occupying yes. squares. Yes. The will to everyone's power. Yes. Yes. The yes. leaders. Direct action. The future of mankind. LGBT feminists defend the nation. Death to prison. Freedom to protest. Make the cops serve freedom. Protests bring on good weather. Occupy the square. Do a peaceful takeover. Take away the guns from all the cops. Death to prison. Freedom to protest. 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 Build the city, all the squares and streets. There are many in Russia. Beat it. All the golden doors. Take off the shoulder straps. Take the thrill of freedom together with us. Death to prison. Freedom to protest. 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 Uh, maybe we'll just have just a couple more seconds of annoying feedback just to remind us this is a punk rock concert. <laughs> Pussy Riot songs, and especially the first one, which is the one that's that was performed in the Russian Orthodox. Pussy Riot now! Free 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 Pussy Riot now
Justin Herman Plaza in downtown San Francisco. Uh, if you're in the area, drop by. Uh, we'll be here until I guess around 7:30. So if you want to drop in and say hi, that would be great. Come here and uh, support Pussy Riot, who was recently sentenced to two years in Russian prison for hooliganism and performing their uh, signature song in the Russian Orthodox National Cathedral. I guess so. That's a no-no. I'm pretty sure that if you tried to perform uh, Obama get fucked, that you'd end up spending two years in a federal penitentiary here in the United States. What do you think about that? Yeah. 
Sorry about that, folks. Let me back up a little bit here. Sorry for that brief interlude. I wanted to write down my URL so people would know where to find me on the web. So we're going to get a nice group photo here of everybody who's present. What a great thing to do. Yeah, we're still going to have to back up a little bit. Everybody here is in support of Pussy Riot in San Francisco. We send our support to Moscow in support of Pussy Riot and their efforts for freedom. Right, I cover all the all the best political protests in San Francisco. So. Thank you to Pussy Riot. So there we go. Great crowd. 
there was a bunch of people behind us that didn't join in, of course. But. up the Pussy Riot support rally for the band Pussy Riot for the young ladies that were sentenced to two years in a Russian prison today uh, for their performance of Hail Mary in the Russian Orthodox National Cathedral. Uh, they were convicted of hooliganism in a religious uh, whatever. Uh, basically they were in a church and they were supposedly blaspheming so I guess uh, we should be glad that it doesn't put you in jail in the United States but I would hazard to guess that if they did it and they were Americans and they were at some place like the National Cathedral in Washington DC that they would probably be getting two years in a federal penitentiary too so don't believe that it's any more harsher in Russia than it is here in the United States political prisoners go to jail in the United States all the time just like they do in Russia and the Occupy movement is very symbolic of that of course so always be aware when you go to a protest that you know the people that you're around and uh, that you're not inspired to do acts of any kind of violence whatsoever because that's how the state uses their that's one of the tricks that they use to suck you in and get you quickly on your way to jail uh, with a felony on your record I'm going to stick around for a few more minutes until everything seems like it's going to break up and uh, look around. Uh, if you have anything that you want to say on the chat, let's see. Are there problem clips? Uh, I would do it anyway. Uh, so no problem. I'm just sorry that the uh, that the stream went down earlier today when I was at the Russian consulate. Uh, because it was kind of nice up there, but we were getting jammed by the by the consulate, so uh, I didn't. I decided it really nobody, you know, wasn't worth it for me to show it from standing across the street. Uh, so I came down here. So I'm glad that you're watching. Uh, you too. That. Uh, Anyway, one of my riders, I got a ride down here from the Russian consulate. And, uh, let all your friends know about my stream. I'm generally up, uh, uh, twice a week. There's events going on in San Francisco. Uh, more, more so if there's stuff going on. I try to get up and bring you all the latest in anti-authoritarian and anarchist protests. I try to bring you the union stuff. Uh, all the other stuff here in San Francisco. One of the things that makes this city a great place is the uh, anti-authoritarian culture that's here. Uh, refusal to be like everybody else. Uh, where 
uh, being uh, different is celebrated for the most part. Less and less these days, but uh, it's pretty much a cornerstone of living in San Francisco. So, unless anybody wants me to hang on, I do believe that I am going to end the live stream. Uh, I'm going to take tomorrow off because yesterday's Bradley Manning stuff really wore me out. And walking up that hill really wore me out today, too. It was a huge, huge hill. We have some monsters in San Francisco, let me tell you. So uh, I'm going to try to enjoy my evening. And thanks for viewing the live stream. And I'll, this is Freeman Sullivan signing off.